Hello and welcome to an empowering episode of Happy Soul as we discuss this time how to heal yourself mentally, emotionally and physically through clinical hypnosis. Now, I know a lot of you may have a lot of apprehensions based on the word hypnosis. After all, in movies, it's almost like somebody comes and you blank out and you lose control and oh my God, perhaps you could be manipulated. Well, clinical hypnosis is exactly the opposite of that. In clinical hypnosis, you are put into a state where you are extremely alert. In fact, you're fully in control as you navigate your way down into your subconscious with the intention to heal yourself. We all have issues, decades and decades of issues. But in our mind, most specifically, within our subconscious mind lies the epicenter to diseases, to emotional blocks, financial blocks, to trauma, destructive patterns of behavior that tend to control us, and therein also lies the gateway to our past lives. I have personally found hypnosis a hugely empowering tool. It gave me access to my subconscious. I had the ability to retrieve files that were long lost and long forgotten, but were controlling my patterns of behavior today. The key to a great session is a super qualified hypnotherapist, someone you trust and someone you can open up to. Someone who will guide you down that path into your subconscious and free you. And we have with us today, Hemo Thakkar, to discuss this and shed light on this amazing science called clinical hypnosis. Hypnosis is a natural state of being where a person goes into a highly focused attention or concentration where they are relaxed and can access their subconscious memories to resolve their pent-up emotions, their pent-up worries, pent-up thoughts and help them to become uh, even better at what they are doing. So hypnosis can be used for uh, insomnia, goal accomplishment, to resolve anger, anxiety, fears, phobia, to work on low self-esteem, to enhance skills like, you know, how uh, for sports or any art, anything that you're doing, which you're already good at, but making it even better. Since subconscious mind is 6,000 times stronger than the conscious mind, and it has all your experiences and memories from right from your childhood till now. So we go back in time to the first time the person experienced these traumas or emotional disturbances to the root of it, relive it or reconnect with it and vent out that charge which is stored so that they don't feel that emotion or that disturbance anymore. So for positive reprogramming, usually we go back to the memory where uh, the negative emotions are stored we remove the negative charge, then connect with the positive memory where you felt the positive emotion, amplify that positive emotion in your body, in your experience, in your feelings, so that you don't feel that negative emotion at all. Not only that, you only and only feel the positive emotion at its peak, behaviorally as well and emotionally as well. For example, if you are working on anger, the positive reprogramming is that you want to feel maybe calm or uh, neutral or accepting. We go back to the time when you felt the anger, remove or vent out that anger, be it to, towards a person or be it towards a situation and then get in touch with the memory or the time when you felt calm or positive, feel it completely and replace that positive emotion into the space or the void created by exit of the negative emotion of anger and feel it in the body as well. Usually we anchor this positive emotion with any physical action or physical uh, activities that you do. Be it simple thing like, like closing your fist maybe once, 
and associating this positive emotion with these with physical actions. How we have access to our current life past memories, similarly our past life memories are also there in the subconscious mind. So by going back in time to those past life memories, we are just reliving or accessing those emotions and thoughts in terms of that story that happened but physically we are not going anywhere. So when we are accessing those memories, we are almost like how we watch a movie. You get in touch with those emotions and we process those emotions. So what happens is that whatever was undigested or unresolved in terms of emotions or story or thoughts gets resolved when you relive it or get in connect with it which helps you then to remove the impact of the unresolved trauma or emotion on your current life that you may have carried forward from that life into your current life. You don't get stuck anywhere. In fact, you are in complete state of well-being. If nothing, you will only feel relaxed and maybe highly focused and attentive. People usually get stuck or are uh, tr feel traumatized in relationships. So uh, I had a case where a person came where he was feeling disappointed because uh, his partner had uh, cheated on him. But he at the same time really wanted to continue with that relationship. Now we don't advise people to take any step in that relationship to get out or to be in it. But if the objective is to stay in the relationship, and feel good, then this disappointment or this sadness which is there wasn't helping him. So we worked on his sadness, we vented out all his, his pent up emotions that he had with his wife by just addressing or venting out in his own space in that state of relaxation. In fact, he could clearly put down his uh, wants or say that this is what he wants from the relationship which helped him to feel confident and not feel stuck in the relationship anymore. One of the biggest uses of hypnosis is in the addiction. So we cannot work on someone who doesn't want to get rid of the addiction because even though it's a state where you are highly focused and attentive and your subconscious mind is in control, but the conscious mind permission is really required or the intention is required. So which means that a person who comes to say for example get rid of smoking it's very easy then to quit smoking because the person has made the intention that they don't want to smoke however physically or emotionally they are dependent on that act of smoking. We go to the point where what is the emotion or the void which is getting triggered which makes them smoke or do that action work on that void work on that gap which is which they are trying to cover by smoking and then reinforce with a positive emotion that they actually feel when they are smoking so without smoking if they can feel that positive emotion they don't need to do that action or that activity anymore in mainstream counseling or cognitive psychotherapy we are working with the conscious mind it works, there is no doubt about it that when you are working with a conscious mind, it's effective. It takes longer to work on the conscious mind because that's only 10 to 12% of our mind. Whereas with hypnosis, we are working with the subconscious mind which is 6000 times stronger. So any work or any change that we are doing in that state, it is going to be effective in terms of being 6000 times stronger and maybe lifelong as well because then we are not only working with the conscious mind. There are a lot of misconceptions about hypnosis. People feel that they will lose control, someone will make them act like what they don't want to act like, make them jump and dance around like a monkey. Uh, they will get taken advantage of. But in clinical hypnosis, none of that happens because the control remains with you. You are only in relaxed state of mind. In fact, you are highly focused, so nobody can take advantage of you. A, you go into the clinic or someone's place where you trust the person. B, you are going with the intent to work on certain things within yourself. 
So this process, you're doing it with your complete permission to work on yourself and you'll completely remain in control of yourself. In fact, you will only and only feel more relaxed and feel more empowered. Empowerment, that's the key word that all these healing sciences hold. We all have the power to empower. And there are so many healing modalities out there to help you do it. Yes, life isn't perfect. It isn't perfect for any of us. But the important part is to recognize that you have issues and that you choose to do something to resolve those issues. I have personally found hypnosis incredibly powerful. I was able to access areas of my subconscious mind, retrieve files, deprogram myself from all these limiting programs that were buried in my subconscious and controlling me today. The important part, as I said, is to find a really good hypnotherapist. So if you would like to contact Hamel Tucker, I would advise you to go on to www.happysoul.in where you will find her contact details listed on our services page. And please, please, do like, share and subscribe this video so more people can be aware of the incredible power that your subconscious has over you and how to deprogram, reprogram and reinvent yourself.